So Danny, I spoke to Nails this morning and sort of the message that we both reiterated was even the treble winners can't win every game. No, a few people have said it in jest that Man City went four of out winning. It was a disaster. And uh, listen, it doesn't make it OK. We don't want to not win. We've had such a good season. We don't want to start not winning games now. But yeah, I think we're, the lads are allowed two of out a win. And listen, it's not guaranteed to go to Halifax and win. That's the uh, highs and lows of football. We've got a great lead at the top. And like I said, after the game Saturday, we don't want that lead to suddenly shorten. But we are in a comfortable position at the moment. But that can soon change. So we've got to turn up at Halifax tomorrow and try and get the three points that have been missing over the last two games. Now the sort of dust has settled and you've had some time to look back on the Bromley fixture, what sort of went wrong? Where have you sort of evaluated you could have done better? I think first and foremost, uh, it's always it's always a different game with the pitch. You know, and that's not an excuse because we said we wouldn't use it as an excuse and at free to up it's certainly not an excuse. I thought with certain areas we could have defended better. We watched the game back. Uh, Michael Cheek should have been sent off with an elbow on Bailey Clements before any of his goals. So that changes. Uh, the referee at Solio and very quick to send one of our players off but there was two or three challenge elbows that we felt went unpunished. And sometimes you only see that once you watch the game back you don't actually realise it at the time. But listen, that's not sour grapes. Bromley won fair and square. They went for it right to the end uh, and obviously they're, they're still on our tails. Absolutely, but attention very, very quickly turns to Halifax, doesn't it, in the space of a few days, so a real chance to bounce back. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, Millie there, Chris Millington, the manager's done a cracking job. Uh, really nice guy. One of, one of the game's good guys, but all that sort of niceness goes out the window when we turn up tomorrow. They've got some good players. They'll be looking to get in the playoffs, no doubt. They're the trophy holders. So they've had a good couple of seasons. There's good momentum there. I think we're going to take, hopefully, 1,000, 2,000 supporters, which should be great. Get behind us and, and you know, let's get back in winning ways. What do you expect from Halifax? Because it's going to be a different test on a totally different pitch to what we played yeah, on Saturday. Yeah, their pitchers in a bad way. Uh, they played like with the two midfielders and the, the wide left lad, Olawabori, excuse if I pronounced that wrong, uh, and George up front are real, real threats with pace and power. So we've got to be mindful of them. And they're a really organised team. You know, they've, 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 lad like Summerfield and midfield have been the mainstays for many years now. So he makes them tick, so we've got to keep him quiet as well. How do you sort of deal with that pitch? Because I know that I think the rugby team do share the pitch, don't they? So yeah. it is, I think, in a bit in a bit of a state without being disrespectful to Halifax because yeah. they'll probably say that themselves. Yeah, and they might say it about ours at the minute. You know, there's a lot of pitches in the league that are in a bad way, so we've got to beat the pitches. I said to you many times, Bron, you've got to beat many obstacles to get promotions. It could be suspensions, referees' decisions, plastic pitches and bad grass pitches. So we've got to go and beat a grass pitch tomorrow night as well as a very good Halifax team. Is it a positive that the game is so quick of a turnaround from Bromley? I think so. I think we've had a lot of weeks rest. We've had a lot of weeks where we can just relax and, and, and sort of assess the next game. And sometimes after defeat especially, you need that quick turnaround to get everyone back in the good vibes. And that's what we're looking to do. What's the team news going into tomorrow? Team news is that uh, sadly Frex and, and Colclough uh, will be get another game too soon for more game, game or two too soon. Uh, but hopefully James Berry could be travelling with us and like I say we've got a good squad even if those lads are injured and there might be some might be some changes from Saturday we'll have to wait and see I was going to say is it, is it just a case of maybe freshening up the team for, for Tuesday do you think? Maybe, maybe uh, I think some you know we didn't do that much wrong at Bromley another day we win 3-2 and another day we, we drew we draw 3-0 and sadly on Saturday it was a 4-3 defeat so the three uh, outcomes we got the worst one yeah, we've got to bounce back. There could be some fresh legs thrown in there, but even if there's not, boys are feeling fit and good to go. I've got to give you a chance to comment on Ollie Banks' strike yeah. and Harry Tyrus' yeah. save as well, because two yeah. sort of moments that have maybe gone under the radar a bit because yeah. of the result. It's hard for a goal. You concede four goals, mm. and some people forget about your worldly save, you know. And uh, Harry's been excellent for us. As Ryan Boot when he came in, Ollie Banks has got that in, in abundance, that, 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 those strikes from distance. We, all, we always encourage him to do it. It's come off. And then obviously when Tom Naylor scores from the corner, you're thinking this could be our day. But like I've reiterated, fair play to Bromley. They kept going. We know what their threats were. They didn't come away from it. Uh, we allowed Cheat, Cheat to get at trick. Although one of his games are very fortunate. And like I say, maybe we shouldn't have been on the pitch. But no sour grapes here. They won, but we're still 20 points clear. And Halifax away is always one of the favourite away games for the Spa right? Faithful, not too far away. Yeah. And sort of a good away end to sort of get an atmosphere going. Lots of fans going down. What's your message to them? Yeah, stick with us. It's been brilliant, you know, and, and, and the six or seven hundred that went to Bromley were fantastic. And you feel so sorry for them because you see, you see when we go three to up, climbing over the barriers, giving it all to those South London lot behind the goal. And, and at the end of the day, they turn around oh, and, and Bromley that day had the last laugh. So hopefully Tuesday week had the last laugh and that the support as always is, is so, so greatly appreciated.